I'm modeling how circadian rhythms are affected by feeding behaviors. So right now there's been a lot of research in mice about when and what you can eat and how mice can actually anticipate meals. And so I made that my thesis as I work with the TF from my class at the med school and we're working to uh, model exactly how feeding patterns affect circadian rhythms and hopefully that will be extended to humans. I love having a lab at the medical school and I think that gives you a whole other um, area of resources since there's other postdocs and graduate students and we're undergraduates working there. So my senior thesis is the beginning parts of the lunar macro 3D printer. The idea is to use the lunar regolith, the lunar dirt that's already on the moon, as a building material to build structures for to protect against radiation or little meteorite impacts. So it's been a lot of support from, from the faculty has, has helped us take our ideas from just the idea stage to actually trying to, to build it and thinking that we can actually make it possible. And also it's, it's a lot of the other students that you're here with, like you build off of each other. Like I might not know like, how to like build the robot, but someone over here probably does. So if I have this idea, I can always find somebody to help me kind of make it happen. As part of engineering society, we look at the world around us and have the, the luxury of deciding for ourselves what problems that we want to solve and what types of endeavors we want to take on. And that's the, the beauty of being a student here. I'm leading a project to build a turbine for the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution that will go at the bottom of the ocean to power sensor lines. It is currently being powered by giant battery packs, which are enormously expensive and difficult to replace. Uh, so we're, we're trying to solve the problem by you know, going green in a sense and using the ocean's energy itself. I think any kind of student can do really well here. You can decide to do research, you can get involved with projects sponsored by companies outside of seas, you can do design work, you can um, focus on economics and uh, do most of your work in other departments. The set of problem solving skills that I come away with from Harvard and also not only just the engineering problem solving skills that I have but also the literary skills, the, the historical and cultural context that I've been exposed to through uh, the core curriculum are skills that will become antiquated, that will be fresh and usable throughout the rest of my career. CS is very well integrated with the college, with graduate school of design with a business school, it's impossible not to make the best of your experience if you tap all these resources. That's the best part at Harvard. <laughs>